Okay, now I'm going to show you another method for finding the prime factorization of a number. And this is sometimes referred to as continued division. And I'll show you this method with the number 60. Again, as before, we start with our list of the first several prime numbers, and we start with the first one, the number 2. And we ask ourselves, is 60 divisible by 2? And it is. It's 2 times 30. So I'm going to write a little 60 divided by 2, but instead of doing it like this, like I might normally do, I do it like this. 2, and 60 is 2 times 30. And the only reason I do it that way is because we typically write down the page from top to bottom. And so this allows us to work down the page, because I'm about to do it again with 30. Is 30 divisible by 2? It is, 30 is 2 times 15. And is 15 divisible by 2? It is not. So we move to the next number, 3. Is 15 divisible by 3? It is. It's 3 times 5. Now, conceptually, this is the same thing we were doing when we did a factor tree. Remember this? We said 60. Is it divisible by 2? And it is. It's 2 times 30. Instead of writing the 2 and the 30 here and here, we just have it written here and here. And then the 30 is divisible by 2 and 15. It's 2 times 15, so we would have done 2 times 15. This is conceptually the same thing as the factor tree. It just takes up a lot less space on the page. And so in, in a lot of cases, it's more convenient for that reason. And the result is, if you're systematic, starting with the 2 and going down, going down this list, the result is all of the prime factors in order. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is the prime factorization of 60. And I'll show you another example, same one we did earlier, um, example 90. Find the prime factorization of 90. Okay, again, we start with 2. Is 90 divisible by 2? Mm-hmm. 2 times 45. Is 45 divisible by 2? It's not. So we go to the next number, the 3. 45 is divisible by 3. It's 3 times 15. And 15 is divisible by 3. It's 3 times 5. And 5 is prime, so we're done. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And again, this is the same thing conceptually that we would, would have done if we had made a factor tree with the number 90 uh, going in order. It's just a, a more compact way to do it on the page. Now we'll work through some examples and I'll do all of these with this continued division technique. I'm going to just write up here my list of prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, that's probably enough, just to have them to refer to mentally. Now let's get started. 140. Is 140 divisible by 2? It is. It's 2 times 70. Is 70 divisible by 2? Yes. 70 is 2 times 35. 35 is not divisible by 2, so is it divisible by 3? Well, no. So if it's not divisible by 3, we go to the next number in the list, the 5. 35 is divisible by 5. It's 5 times 7. And 7 is prime, so we're done. The answer here is 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. Okay, 36. Again, we start with 2. 36 is 2 times 18. 18 is divisible by 2, it's 2 times 9, and then 9 is easy. It's not divisible by 2, but it's 3 times 3, and 3 is prime, so we're done there. And we, these, are, these numbers give us our answer, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, so number 28, or the next example, 28. Again, we start with the, the 2. 28 is divisible by 2, it's 2 times 14, and 14 is divisible by 2, it's 2 times 7, and we're done. So the answer is 2 times 2 times 7. And 
and a few more examples, 504. 504 is obviously an even number, so it's divisible by 2. And let's see, 500 divided by 2 would be 250. So if there's 4 more divided by 2, that would make it 252. And then 252 is an even number, so it must be divisible by 2. And if I divided 250 by 2, I would get 125. So 252 divided by 2 is going to be 126. And 126 is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. Half of 126 would be 63. And 63 is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3. It's 3 times 21. And 21 is divisible by 3. It's 3 times 7. So we're done. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And if you wanted to, you could write that as 2 cubed times 3 squared times 7. Okay, let's look at number 24, or the next example, which is find the prime factorization of 24. This one's easy. Smaller numbers are typically easy. Uh, 24 is 2 times 12, and 12 is 2 times 6. And 6 is 2 times 3, and that's it. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 cubed times 3. Okay, 1,000. Find the prime factorization of 1,000. And don't be intimidated because this is a big number. These numbers get small really fast when you start dividing. See, 1,000 is even. You divide it by 2 and you get 500. And 500 is also divisible by 2. That gives you 250. 250 is divisible by 2. That gives you 125. See, the number's already getting a lot smaller. Now, 125 is not divisible by 2, and it's also not divisible by 3. But it is divisible by 5. If it's not divisible by 3, we just go to the next number in the list, the 5. And 125 is 5 times 25. And 25, you can probably see real quickly, is divisible by 5, and it's 5 times 5. So this is our answer, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. And of course we could write this as 2 cubed times 5 cubed. That's the prime factorization of 1,000.